integrate 1 over 4x squared minus 4x plus 3 uh, dx. Now the first step what I've done is I've made a perfect square. I hope you can see the step. So this is a perfect square. And this I'm going to make a perfect square probably. So this is the next step which is it should be easy. Okay. Now I want a 1 here. To get a 1 I've divided by the denominator each of the terms by 2. So when you're dividing the denominator by 2, you're multiplying by 2. So to counter that 2, I've got a 1 half here to cancel that. So this and this are the same. So and this can be 2 can be written as square root of 2 the whole squared. Okay, and that becomes 2x minus 1 over root 2 the whole squared plus 1. Now this form is a good form for trick substitution because I know 1 plus 10 squared alpha or theta is equal to 6 squared alpha. Okay, now and that's why I've taken this as 1 minus 2x minus 1 over root 2 is 10 alpha, which implies alpha is 2x n inverse of 2x minus 1 over root 2. We'll, we'll need this later. So now making x the subject, uh, I hope you can see the next step, uh, and differentiating both sides with respect to x. So now dividing both sides by 2, uh, this is 1 over root 2, x is 1 over root 2, 10 inverse plus, 10 alpha plus 1, sorry. So now differentiating both sides with respect to alpha, and differentiation of 10 alpha is 6 squared alpha. So dx is 1 over root 2 6 squared alpha d alpha, uh, d alpha. Okay, so in place of, in, so what I've done is, we are changing everything in terms of a trig form. So dx can be written as, dx can be written as 1 over root 2 6 squared alpha d alpha. And this can be written as 10 squared alpha. Okay, so I've rewritten the this form again, 1 over 2 this and this are the same, 1 over 2 over this whole thing becomes 1 over 2 10 squared alpha plus 1 and dx becomes this because this is, this we have substituted as 10 alpha. So and 1 plus 10 squared alpha is 6 squared alpha. Uh, so this root to have factored out 1 over 6 squared alpha uh, times d alpha. So this is integration of 1 d alpha, okay? So integrating with respect to alpha, that is nothing but 1 over 2 root 2 alpha plus c, the constant of integration. But now we know that alpha is 10 inverse of 2x minus 1 over root 2. So this is your final answer.